Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. This is a slightly different video. I'm trying something new. So please bear with me. So today I want to talk about the amazing feature that I've been using for a long time since it came out. And this is the focus feature on the iPhones that are running iOS 16 and newer devices. So the focus option is basically an extended version of the do not disturb option that we used to have prior to iOS 16. So I'm going to talk about this today and I'm going to show you how to maximize its use and how to automate it and enjoy its all, everything that it offers. Now, before jumping to the video, just a quick note, please consider subscribing to my channel. It keeps me motivated. And also, please, if you don't mind, like and share this video. Of course, if you like it, this means a lot. Thank you, guys. Now. When we go to focus, I'll tell you, there are two ways how to activate the focus feature on your iPhone running on iOS 16 and newer. This is my iPhone 13 uh, Pro Max and, oops, sorry. So you need to, lo uh, the first way to access the focus feature is to uh, long press your lock screen. And as you can see, I have a lot of options set up right now and they are easy to access just pressing the the feature pressing the lock screen and it automatically activates it so the first one is the uh normal let's say regular profile that uh since it says here focus it means that there is no focus actually activated or linked to this screen but when i swipe to the left you see this is my fitness screen this is my work screen uh, this is my sleep screen and driving screen and so and so on and each one of them has a distinct wallpaper so i know automatically uh, uh, what kind of focus I'm currently in. So this is the first way to activate and to access the feature uh, focus and you can just go by clicking on focus and it will give you the options to quickly change them, activate or deactivate them. For example, I can activate fitness, then I can deactivate it. But if I want to go into settings and this is what I want to show you, this is uh, uh, one way of getting there. The other way of getting there into the settings is just go to the settings, find focus here and basically brings you to the same to the same thing. Now, when you uh, install iOS 16, you have some predefined features here. And these I haven't touched that much. I mean, these are the general options that you can find, but you can add any customized here by clicking this plus button. However, to get you started and to get the maximum use of it, you don't need much more than these. Trust me, I mean, I've been using it for a year now and uh, these are more than enough for my everyday activities. Now, if we take, for example, fitness, uh, this is how the settings look like. And there are three distinct areas that you need to pay attention to. The first one is allow notifications. Then you have customized screens and uh, sorry, four options, setting the schedule. And the last one is the focus filter. Of course, at the end, you can completely delete certain focus if you don't need it or you want to replace it with something else. So the first option, allow notification. This is a very important part because this is the place where you actually uh, allow people or certain apps to disturb you okay, while in focus. So you need to pick who, or who you will uh, um, allow to receive notifications from or who you want to silence notifications from. So, you know, this is like a blacklist option. So once we had in, in, in jailbreak community, we had the I blacklist of oh, good times. Now, uh, I set it up that I, I can allow notifications only from three people here. And also you can set that you want to allow calls from favorites or from only allowed people, these here, everybody or contacts only. Also, you can allow repeated calls. If somebody needs to get hold of you very urgently, you can you can um, tap this and enable it. So here I've selected that only three people can disturb me while I'm working out, right? Here you can set which apps you want to, to be allowed notifications from. For example, you can set email if you want to receive your emails even while working out or any other app that you have installed in your uh, on your phone. So again, same thing, blacklist. You can disable notifications from specific apps or you can allow notifications from specific apps. So it's kind of pretty straightforward. 
here below you have the uh, uh, options just additional additional settings for for these notifications uh, what I choose here is that I don't want to see the notifications on my lock screen when I work out so I don't want to be disturbed even when I pick up my phone I don't want to see anything on the screen right so it doesn't disturb me also you can dim the lock screen if you want and you can hide the notification badges on your home screen when you open your device so I also uh, uh, put this uh, on because I don't want to see any badges when I open my my device it's I'm completely not disturbed by any of the applications whatsoever so this is the part where you decide who you will receive notifications from or not or who you want to block the second part are the customized screens now this is something I liked having and I, I usually put the lock screen so I want to have specific wallpaper from a specific for a specific focus because here you can choose you know which kind of wallpaper you want to have you can choose from all the preset options that you already have right so something that reminds you of that so I want to be like I don't know that the moon is somehow um, reminding me that I'm kind of at peace and working out you can also choose specific wallpaper for your uh, home screen once you open it if you don't do that then the, it will be the same wallpaper on both you can also if you have an Apple watch you can also select a specific specific uh, look of your Apple watch during that specific focus now the third part is setting a schedule now this is something I like the most and I think this is the most useful option for all of us for example if it's a fitness focus of course you would want at, at least I do uh, to when I start working out on my on my app watch and I put the workout here and I click on it I want automatically for this to start so if I do this you will see this is my regular screen I'm gonna put the outer walk for example and you see everything changes like the whole wallpaper changes I will not be getting any notifications except for those three people this is the way my, my uh, lock screen looks like and once I turn off when I side turn off the the workout you will see that my notification that fitness is off and my my um, wallpaper and the looks of it it all returned to to normal state you can also add your schedule if you have certain schedule that you stick to like from 9 in the morning till 11 you want this to be on this is also doable if you are that 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 precise and every day at the same time you do certain workout so this is the third part setting a schedule so you can do it automatically or you can just you know do it manually and the final part is focus filters so this is to customize how your apps and device behave when it's uh, when this focus is on so for example I have put a filter for messages and when I click on it you can see that my notifications will be filtered which means that only those people with whom I have allowed notifications from I will see those messages I will not see any other messages all right so if I if I open my my, my messages you will see here I have tons of them all right but if I turn my turn on my my workout for example I will turn it on and then we will see see so all other messages disappear except for these people my family that I want to uh, uh, work with that I want to to communicate with when I turn it off it all come back comes back to normal right so this is this is very neat feature uh, of focus filters also you can set other apps however these are only few of the apps that are set by Apple currently hopefully they will increase in the future you can do the same for calendar mail outlook currently has this focus profile Safari tabs and these are the basic these are basically it right now in the system filters you can set certain appearance so you can see that my appearance is set to dark I don't want to be disturbed and my battery is on on low power mode in this in this situation which means that I want to preserve my battery while while working out so these are the general four elements of every focus and I highly recommend you guys test it out set up several of these focus filters and you will see it will make your life much easier same goes for for example for, for work I have put some some manual things so uh, also I have smart activation here so it basically it means when I'm working on something that it will automatically be be on 
at certain times. For example, if I have classes from 10 to 12 and it, sh it is showing in my calendar, then this will probably be turned on so that I can, I can, I, I should not be disturbed. Or you can also add the schedule. Same goes for focus filters as well. Now, let's say the, sorry about this, uh, driving focus. I like this one. So when I want to, uh, when I sit in my car, I don't want to be disturbed, right? So I don't want to reply to anyone. I again have the same three people that I communicate with. In customizing the screens, I've chosen this this crazy uh, uh, car thingy, the car wallpaper, you know, the car emojis. Uh, so immediately when I open my my uh, screen, if I want to tap my screen while driving, I can see this ugly wallpaper, which I really don't like, by the way. I really don't like it. Let me show you how it looks like. You can change. So it kind of I don't like how it, I don't like how it looks like. So the, my my point being here is that my focus while driving I want to be something ugly. So I don't want to look at my screen, right? And I want to be automatically connected when when connected to my car Bluetooth. If you have CarPlay, even easier. I don't have it unfortunately, but you know when connected to my when my music music starts playing in the car, my uh, drive focus is automatically automatically on. Uh, and old school place is the do not disturb. You know this is the manual thing. I haven't I haven't touched this, but you can also automate it if you want. You can choose the wallpapers. You can set the schedule. You can add the focus filters. It's all uh, uh, up to your choice. So that's it, guys. I wanted just to show you that that uh, uh, how to use this in the best way. And now it's all automated for me. Or if I want to do something manually, I can just turn on. You see, this is my sleep wallpaper. This is my car wallpaper that I was talking about. This is some other general which I like. The uh, I like the wallpapers. You know, these are s different different options that I have prepared for myself. Yeah, this is this is a cool wallpaper. So this is the focus and how to maximize its usefulness. I hope this video helped you and uh, if you have any idea, if you have any questions, you want to learn something more about certain specific options of the iOS, hit, shoot me an email or, or leave a comment down below and I'll respond 100%. Uh, and for the end, please again, you know, this means a lot to all of the content creators. Please subscribe doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it means a lot to me because, you know, if the numbers go down, then people are not motivated to do these things. And if you like this video, please share it with others, you know, point them to my channel and I'll have more of this how-to videos in the future, aside from my general uh, uh, channels uh, videos, which are jailbreaking videos. Thank you. See you in the next video.